So in verses 1 and 2, we find out that God hardened Pharaoh's heart. Um, and we find out why. Finally, we find out why. It's because God wanted, well, partially, God wanted to deal harshly with the Egyptians because they hurt his people, you know, and God is a God of justice. And if you've been through an injustice, put it in the hands of God and he will take care of it for you. Trust me. Um, verses three through six, God will bring locusts to the Egyptians and it'll eat everything. Remember, a little bit of their crop was left after the hail and the locusts are going to eat what's remaining. It will fill the houses and fields. It will be like nothing their ancestors have seen before. And one thing that I thought of was in, it included that seven year famine. Remember of Joseph's time, seven years of famine. And this was supposed to be worse. Like th what sounds worse than seven years of famine? I don't know, <laughs> but it's crazy um, that this, the locusts were actually worse. So I just kind of thought about that situation and related it back to what their ancestors did experience that we know about from the Bible, which was that seven year famine um, back in Genesis. So verses seven through eight, Pharaoh's official wanted him to let the Egyptians go. Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron and he agreed for now. <laughs> and he asked, but who would be going? And I just thought that was so funny because why are you delaying this, Pharaoh? Like, why? This is what I'm asking myself. Of course, I know God hardened his heart. That's part of the reason. So he's asking, who will be going? Like, How many times did Moses and Aaron go to Pharaoh? <laughs> So many times, of course, you know who will be going, all of them. They want to all go to the wilderness and worship, and they have to take their livestock. Pharaoh is very aware of this. Why is he delaying? You know, is there something in your life that you're putting off and you're delaying? Procrastination stresses me out. <laughs> um, and I do that sometimes, believe me. I'm, I can procrastinate sometimes, and it's just better to get something over with and to move on. Verse 9. Moses replied, I will go with the young, the old, and sons and daughters, flocks and herds. So he was very specific here. And in verse 10, Pharaoh said no. He said only the men can go since that's what they were asking for, which is not true. I, I went back and I did not see that at all. But um, And then it says that they were driven out of uh, Pharaoh's presence, which means he probably got very irate, probably started yelling and told them to get out of there and um, he didn't want to see them again. Um, that's coming later. <laughs> Verses 11 through 15. Then the locusts came, just as God promised, and it ate. Um, where am I? And ate everything. Nothing green was left, it said. Verses 16 through 20. Pharaoh asked Moses and Aaron to pray, um, and the locusts left, and Pharaoh's heart once again was hardened, so he did not let them go. Not even just the men, just as he said. Um, verse 21 through 23. Darkness was all over Egypt for three days and the Israelites still had light. That would have driven me crazy. If you live in the United States, then you know that when the time changes, when the clocks turn, it gets dark by like four o'clock, um, 4 p.m. And it's just, it's weird to be in darkness for that long. I couldn't imagine it being dark for three whole days. That would drive me crazy. I love the morning. I love sunlight. And that sounds like torture. And so verse 24 through 29, Pharaoh allowed the Israelites to go, but they had to leave their livestock. Moses opposed because they needed to sacrifice to the Lord. So again, Pharaoh is just trying to find loophole after loophole, but Pharaoh's heart was hardened and he commanded Moses and Aaron to leave. And he said, do not come back or you will die. And Moses just says, as you wish. And I think at this point, Moses realized, you know, he's gone back and forth with Pharaoh so many times. He knows that God is in control and that God will take care of it. Um, and, you know, Pharaoh is, he's a brave guy. I mean, <laughs> he's, I don't think he realizes what exactly he's doing, clearly. Um, but I think, you know, the way that God chose to, um, I guess, deal harshly with the Egyptians, as the Bible says, is really interesting because, you know, they're, um, the locusts came and ate everything and, you know, their livestock and with all the little gnats and no light, no light is, that is huge. Um, light is how our bodies kind of have that circadian rhythm, which is, has to do with sleep. Um, and so living in an area with, um, a lot of darkness, or just even having it being dark for several days, that can you know mess up your sleeping patterns. It could really have a, um, a 
it determines also your mental health and it could affect that as well. That's the word I'm looking for. It can affect your mental health as well. So um, I think it's really interesting how, you know, things have played out so far and Pharaoh is clearly upset. So we will keep reading and see what happens. Um, but what did you learn from this chapter? Please leave it down in the comments. I love reading your comments and your insights. But thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Share this video with a friend. It helps for my videos to be suggested by the YouTube algorithm and for other people to find these videos. I post a new Bible study video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I can't wait to study the Bible with you again. Bye.